yes sir you can speak yeah yes sir actually i have received uh, for examination but i uh -huh. have not received any confirmation mail and already uh, okay so you have received also okay okay i didn't okay. i didn't get any confirmation okay uh so you like you can write mail to nptl there there is a mail i will share uh, like i will check it in just let me check it So there is a mail uh, which is support at the rate nptl dot iitm dot ac dot in. I'm just copying it and pasting in the. Chat box. So, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. So this is a helpline number, and then there is an email also. So you okay, no, no, no. you can try to contact them. So they will definitely help you. Or uh, okay. you you can also uh, before that you can check your spam box, right? So maybe sometime what happen? Uh, because these are the institutional mails that come from this NPTEL is uh, from that IIT M like IIT Madras uh, dot dot ac dot in. So sometime our Gmail uh, makes it. Uh, as a mark market as a spam so you can check it wow. once your spam box oh. and then uh, then you can write to them if there is if it is not present there right okay. or you can call 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 to them uh, during office hour you can call them on monday okay. like after 10 am yeah okay no issue sir mm -hmm. thank you thank you mm -hmm. so we'll may wait for 2 to 3 minutes so that few more participants could join and then we'll start the sessions So this is the 12 week course out of which we have completed eight weeks means two third of the course is completed one third is remaining and now the deadline for examination is there uh, registration for examination is there so i hope uh, you all have uh, registered for that if not uh, you can go and register for the examination of this course so the course uh, examination will have only uh, 50 questions that two of uh, multiple choice type and there will be no negative marking so this is the easiest uh, what you can say type easiest pattern of question paper so where you uh, where you can definitely register for this and so that you can get certificate for the completion of uh, this course
i hope after doing this course uh, there must be uh, gain in the in terms of knowledge uh, from this course and uh, i hope you all are enjoying learning this course till now if there is any query to anyone or if there is any issue any problem you can feel free to ask me and we can discuss it uh, if i will not be able to solve or if i don't have the answer for that i will uh, definitely try to contact higher authorities and uh, professor joshi and uh, come up with the solution for you uh, i also request you all to just fill the feedback forms if you are receiving um, for this live sessions or um, or this course from nptel so any kind of feedback form if you are receiving just try to fill it uh, so that uh, we can get the idea uh, about how this course is going on actually and since that is anonymous uh, so uh, we'll try if there is any suggestion we'll try to implement in maybe next session or uh, when next time this course will float so that feedback is very important because feedback mechanism we are studying and uh, with feedback you, you just seen uh, we have studied that how a stepper motor becomes servo motor and how why feed is very important for making any uh, intelligent system or any uh, uh, this auto uh, auto auto automated system so similarly the feedback for this course work is for this course and the sessions are also very very much important and we used to read this feedback and will uh, we always try to improve the things on the feedback because this course is all for uh students uh, who are in different parts of country or maybe uh, in world and they are uh, they are accessing this course on the npt uh, through this npt platform so mp so mp platform where npt is offering this course so that is a good initiative and lots of people are learning from here so if there is any sort sort coming or if there is any issue so you can definitely write in the feedback feedback form and we'll uh, we'll try to address it and we'll try to implement your suggestion uh, if it is feasible in the uh, upcoming sessions and uh, and whenever this uh, course will float in next time so on this uh, let me begin the today's session uh, i hope my voice is clear to all and slides are visible to you all so i welcome you all uh, in the eight live session for the course automation in manufacturing which is offered by nptel under the course code of noc22 me133 i am swarit anand singh a phd student in the department of mechanical engineering indian institute of technology jodhpur i am a prime minister such fellow and through this prime pmrf and nptel ta scheme i got this opportunity to interact with you to take this live session and uh, to discuss the problems uh, related to this course work and uh, try to uh, solve some questions uh, which is uh, which is related to this course and if you have any query uh, you can uh, like we can discuss it so as of now uh, uh, we have we have done uh, we have come successfully completed seven sessions uh, like this every saturday we come uh, i came online and we join uh, in a in a meeting uh, where we spend around one hour so like every session uh, we, today also uh, i am going to uh, first of the session is also divided into three parts so first of all i will be going to uh, ask you a few questions so that will be again multiple choice question you will uh, the question will be on your screen and you will be answering then i will be taking the question from the question forum uh, that is on the nptel platform and then in last uh, i will be uh, this open to uh, like for you all so that you can ask any question if you have or any issue you can you can discuss so moving to the uh, like starting with the first session uh, uh, first part so the first question uh, is on your screen now the question says to generate the rotary indexing what can be employed in an automated assembly system which mechanism can be employed for generating rotary indexing So there's answer D, then Geneva, then all, 
okay yes so this participation from you guys are very important uh, three have i received three answers uh, i expect uh, expect few more one or two answers so to generate rotary indexing what kind of uh, mechanism is employed okay so no one is now answering so i will be answering yeah so answer is all of these so all of these mechanisms are used for uh, rotary indexing purpose in any of the automated system so let let me uh, show you some uh, of these mechanism so this is a rack and pinion uh, mechanism where there is a ratchet wheel and then um, there is a shaft which is inside that ratchet wheel and there is a pole so so this is how uh, this mechanism works okay so how uh, this pole gets a motion uh, which is a uh, what you can say a step motion kind of thing on the rotation of this shaft next we have sorry 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 so i've just uh, made a mistake while writing so this is a ratchet pole mechanism and that is a rack and pinion mechanism just give me a second there is a some type mistake yeah so the first one uh, that we is, uh, saw is ratchet and pole mechanism and where there is a ratchet wheel and uh, which is connected to a shaft and then there is a uh, mechanism uh, then there is a element which which is known as pole so it get motion uh, uh, due to the rotation of this shaft it get some step motion then there is a mechanism called rack and pinion mechanism which is very popular uh, you have seen you in several of the machineries so rack and pinion uh, mechanism there is a pinion and then there is a rack so it it again converts the uh, this uh, in, there is a conversion of uh, rotary motion to uh, linear motion or linear motion to the rotary motion then uh, a special type of mechanism is there which is known as geneva mechanism so this geneva mechanism is uh, uh, is a special kind of mechanism which convert the uh, rotary motion into some uh, what you can say a step kind of motion intermittent in form so these are the three uh, popularly used mechanism uh, in the you know of the any automated system so i hope this visual this the visualization of this uh, helps you in understanding the uh, concept of this different mechanism now uh, the second question it is on your screen which type of mechanism is also known as maltese cross mechanism there is an uh, another name for maltese cross mechanism which mechanism is known as maltese cross mechanism okay so we got one answer c that is geneva mechanism any other c okay any other c yeah so this why this like uh, mechanism what is this like maltese cross uh, maltese cross mechanism so this maltese cross is a symbol of uh, soviet ma uh, military order of malta so they have this kind of symbol okay so be because of uh, similarity between the uh, this this uh, look of uh, uh, or design of this flag the symbol with the mechanism so it is known as maltese cross mechanism so which mechanism look like this so i hope the answer is c again c is a geneva mechanism and like geneva mechanism look like this in a planar geometry if you see so this maltese cross it looks like the maltese cross so that's why it is named as maltese cross mechanism also next third question 
the question is tool turret is generally used to hold how many number of tools so the tool turret that is present in the uh, cnc machines maybe it's cnc lathe or cnc milling so how many number of tools are uh, generally it, it contains 12 to 50 is and kalal says a and 6 to 12 okay any other a yeah so tool turrets are uh, small like uh, small in size and they used to hold less number of tools so it is like 6 to 12 tools they used to hold okay so whenever you visit any workshop you will see uh, any uh, small what you can say uh, uh, small uh, cnc machines so uh, those machines are uh, generally having 6 to 12 tools so different type of tools are present in its tool turret okay so these are this is the uh, typical tool turret how it is look like so here you can see like different tools are there in it okay so in the uh, it contains milling tool end milling tool uh, facing tool maybe drilling tool okay so this kind of uh, for this purpose this tool turret is used and this, it is always present in any of the cnc machine now the fourth question fourth question is on the screen it says the rake type of magazine can be utilized to store so there is a magazine which is of rake type so for what purpose that rake type magazine is used to store will it store work piece work parts or it stores uh tools or both or none of these okay c yeah so this rake type work uh, rake type magazines are just like uh, uh, rakes or uh, what you can say yeah uh, the open cupboards that are placed in at uh, in our household or in our home also so those kind of uh, um, uh, what you can say ma rake type mag magazine is there so on uh, the place the places are defined for different tools and work pieces so it can uh, it can utilize to store either tools or work pieces and whenever the required tool is called the, the actuator uh, which is a uh, maybe pick and place uh, uh, robotic arm that that will uh, take uh, the required component either it may be work part or maybe some tool from uh, the rake type uh, from this rake type magazine and then it place on the either on the uh, workbench or in the tool holder so this rake type magazine is used to utilize uh, is used to utilize uh, it, it is utilized to store both tools and work part now uh, fifth question fifth question is on your screen so the long form of the term atc that is commonly used in context of material handling system is so this is just a full form it's asking asking what the full form is a very easy question i think all of you can will be able to answer this question b b b okay any other answer so atc is uh, yeah it stand for automatic tool changing so have you seen such kind of any one of you have seen such kind of uh, automatic tool changing system anywhere any of you okay no issue so whenever next time uh, you visit your workshop uh, and there is a cnc cnc machine if there is any cnc machine so you can see this this is a uh, automatic tool changing system uh, present in a vertical milling machine vertical milling center uh, you can say vmc okay so this is how uh, automatic tool changer rotates push the tool uh, uh, from the tool magazine and then uh, place it in the uh, tool holder okay so uh, in the collet of this uh, machine so this is how it works so you can just see whenever you visit next time in any workshop where there's there is a there is any cnc machine so you can see this so this is a automatic tool change 
automatic tool changer now sixth question the question number 6 is on your screen it says to handle the food products such as berries tomatoes apples etc in an automated food processing industry which boxes are commonly used so for handling the product like uh, mainly this food products such as berries tomato apple or any fruits so which kind of uh, boxes are commonly used so not only industry uh, you can also see this boxes in any of the vegetable market okay so if you have visited vegetable market if you have if you have observed like how they are handling how in what they are uh, keeping this fruits okay so you will be able to answer this question so there is one option is b and another answer is a okay any other answer a okay anyone else want to answer this question okay so it is not a it is b uh, why like uh, just see the example okay so this is how a pallet look and this is how a tote box look so you must have seen all the fruit you never have seen this uh, fruits uh, or the uh, this food items uh, handled on this pallet boxes right this pallet boxes are uh, this pallets are used to uh, mainly used to handle uh, equipments like uh, if you have purchased some uh, washing machine or something like this, this this kind of or some other machines a uh, fridge uh, this uh, like this kind of or maybe uh, you you have seen generator or something like that so this kind of uh, machines are uh, are placed on pallet okay so that the uh, the forklift can go inside it and push it up okay this tote box you have seen um, at every fu this fruit or vegetable uh, shopkeeper must have this kind of container okay so also this uh, uh, the milk uh, the packet milk uh, if you have seen this parag or uh, this amul Con the, the the container look like this only so in this kind of uh, those boxes are known as tote box so this tote box used to uh, handle the uh, food uh, the material uh, like this uh, food products uh, basically so the answer for this question uh, is tote box okay now seventh question is on the screen so uh, to process the work parts in batches which type of layout is suitable so the condition is we have the work uh, we have to process the work parts in batches so which kind of uh, layout is suitable b c okay d <laughs> okay so just just read it again and just think about it that what we want what we want like we want to process work parts in batches okay so suppose i have given you uh, like i have given you um, maybe a cuboidal box okay so let me make a cuboid only so this kind of uh, this kind of block i have given given to you and i want i i just want the final product in shape of this okay so i want this kind of shape from the raw, the the raw work piece that i have given to you. this is the this is the work piece and then this is a final product okay so if i want uh, to convert this work piece to this final product and that that to in batches like i want i have given you 100 pieces 100 piece of this product 
okay this this work piece and i want 100 of this so which pro, which layout is suitable for that so answer is process okay so first of all like in batches if the if the raw raw material are in web, uh, we have to process it in batches so that that this process type of uh, layout is very suitable how like suppose we have 100 pieces we'll just transfer it to a machine which can perform this cutting okay to remove this material remover the remover of this this amount of material so this material get removed maybe more this this amount of material get removed there so from all like from here first the first step will be this removal of that this this particular material and in second step if uh, we left with this kind of shape and then in second step there is some three drillings the three holes are there so we want to drill it now we'll transfer this to drilling uh, section where the drilling operation can be performed so this is what we call it as a process type layout where uh, only one process is uh, like the, the these are the blocks on the manufacturing shop floor if if you have seen so here uh, there will be cutting operation uh, like uh, what you can say metal cutting through some grinder okay then there is uh, drilling operation this is a drilling uh, section then there is something uh, sheet metal section okay so in this kind of layout will be suitable for this this kind of work pieces okay uh, this kind of uh, batch if you want to process the work part in batches so one batch comes to this then after processing it will transfer to this okay and maybe it required so it depends upon uh, what is the requirement so this kind of uh, for this example this process type layout is suitable i hope difference between product and continuous layout okay so product and Continuous layout is like the. Uh, so suppose there is uh, there is some specific product you want to make. Okay, so uh, what I can say, sir, some product maybe maybe a pen you want to manufacture or uh, maybe your uh, this piston rod you can say we are we are why we are talking. So this kind of piston rod you want to manufacture. Okay, and then. You are manufacturing only this piston uh, again and again for like your company or your enterprises is manufacturing only this. Okay, so you can set up a production line which can which can uh, uh, manufacture this. Okay, so from the uh, from the work piece from the general what you can say uh, this raw material that is in a cylindrical shape. The final product will be this. Okay, so they, they, there are some certain stations. Where this part can get processed, like from one, two, three, four, maybe maybe at first part it get uh, it the turning operation will be performed. At second part, maybe some fine grinding operation will be performed. Third part, maybe some painting or something if it is required. Fourth part, if some drilling operation is performed, and then the final product get ready. So if this kind of production line is set up, so we'll set uh, and this is only for this product so we say that this is a product layout okay and then if this uh, if this not this is not for a specific product this line is not for a specific product it can process any other any kind any kind of uh, what you can say any kind of work piece uh, and produce different dif different shapes okay not not only this it can also be capable of producing like this kind of a structure okay so just oppose it so or maybe something like some other some other kind of uh, structure maybe like this so remove this part so if these are uh, these different components can be processed uh, and then that too progressively in a in a particular layout so we'll call it as a continuous uh, layout i hope uh, it is clear now vikas is it Okay. Yeah. So continuous process. What I'm saying, it is not a specific uh, to the product. So if if this like this is a work piece, 
from this work piece you want to make this you want to make this or you want to make this so if in this production layout system if you are capable of producing this also this also and this also okay and that too in a progressive uh, uh, steps so that is a continuous layout while in product you you have to stick with a spe specific product like only this product you want to build so that if if this production this line this layout is capable of that producing only this kind of component this only so it is known as product type layout and then if it is it is if it is producing any similar kind of component with different dimensions uh, using same set of operations so it is uh, it is continuous type layout now it is fine then in continuous layout there is excessive multiplication then in continuous layout there is an excessive multiplication or well, like i am not able to understand what you want to say with this statement okay so we'll discuss it in um, like in the after completing this question answer session okay so i'm moving forward for now uh, yeah so eighth question uh, is on the screen uh, it says like navigation involves the use of on board gyroscopes or other motion sensors to determine the position of an automated vehicle by detecting changes in its speed and acceleration so which kind of navigation is involved there is it cam laser inertial or magnetic laser c inertial inertial okay yeah so uh, if you have seen gyroscope or other motion sensor so laser is not used because laser is used like for what purpose laser uh, laser sensors are used can somebody tell for what purpose lasers uh, laser uh, based uh, sensors are used yeah so for measuring the distance or for, for measuring the change in distance we use laser sensor here we want to uh, get the acceleration or speed so inertial uh, inertial navigation is there okay so uh, in the in the basic principle of gyroscope you can uh, you can see that there is a inertial uh, uh inertia is responsible for sensing this okay now next question uh question number 9 uh in in which type of like uh, crane or uh, it is talking about uh, there is a single leg on one end of the bridge and other end is supported by a rail mounted on a wall or other structural member so what it is called like there is a equipment which is uh, uh, where uh, which have a single leg on one end and another is uh, another end is supported on the rail mounted on the wall or some other structural member so what it is called a half gantry crane okay yeah so half gantry crane is the uh, gantry crane is the answer so have you seen any of you have seen ga uh, this gantry crane anywhere okay so uh, this is a typical uh, model of a yeah, gantry crane okay so what is this these are the rails two rails okay two parallel rails are there where this big bridge kind of structure used to traverse in this direction okay and then there is a another uh, rail which is here okay and this this particular uh, head used to travel uh, in this direction okay so it get the uh, and then there is a, what you can say pulley and rope system which can which used to pick up the material from maybe suppose if it is coming here it will pick the material from here and then again moving to this position it will carry this uh, this material which is placed here to its end from like from here if it picks up the material and then 
it goes to that this end so this is how uh, in the heavy industry um, this uh, this happens like uh, the uh, the material handling happens where the big or uh, like heavy weight components we have to lift up so uh, this full gantry crane or or maybe half gantry crane uh, is utilized so this is the full gantry crane uh, if one of its rail is not present and then this this rail is mounted on some wall okay so some wall so then it is known as half gantry crane okay i saw yeah at port yes 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 so asin kumar is saying at port yes at port it is uh, it is there i saw at coaching depot railway yes definitely in any of the uh, this uh, railway make uh, this either it may be uh, uh, locomotive uh, uh, manufacturer or uh, this uh, what you can say uh, the the rails of uh, uh, this um, what what we call like i'm not getting the term that uh that uh, the train in which we sit okay so the that box uh, that uh, uh, that particular sections if it is uh, uh, that co co yeah railway coach depots so where this railway coaches railway coaches yeah railway coaches are built up so definitely uh, this kind of gantry uh, cranes are there please show the half gantry crane image okay so you have to give me some 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 minutes yeah because i will i will show you it, uh, this half gantry crane image also so i saw it in a sugar mill and in a factory also yes in wagon yeah so this kind of uh, cranes are popularly used next uh, next question is to convey the loose commodities such as food grains sugar cement coal which type of conveyor is most suited belt okay d belt okay. Yeah, d yes so this is a uh, this kind of conveyor system is always used to uh, to to uh, transport commodities like loose commodities like food grain sugar or cement or coal okay so the belt conveyor system is used okay so this is all the questions that we have today uh, now the, the question that is asked on the uh, this question portal um, discussion forum so the question is asked by sneha sees maybe his name uh, yeah and he says that what is the difference between crank and cam uh, the two appear identical so maybe he get uh, uh, maybe misconfused so crank and cam uh, they don't uh, they do, they do not look like same they are the two distinct part okay so the answer is there on the portal which says like both are different cam used to open and close the valve while crank converts the reciprocatory motion into the rotary motion okay so i'll show you the crank and cam where where uh, these two are are present so this here you can see this is the crank shaft okay crank shaft so this part this part this this is the crank crank part and then this is the these are the pistons okay so uh, based on like the in any of the ic engine you can say uh, okay so what happens when the when it, they got pressurized so they moves up and up and down and then convert that uh, linear motion into the linear motion which is like this into the rotary motion of this shaft and then that this shaft is, is uh, connected to uh, like uh, where, wherever it is required like the power from this ro rotation rotary power is transferred from this only okay so this is a general structure of this so this is the this this portion is the crank part okay crank shaft part and then you can if you want to see the cam so cam is here this is the cam shaft actually this is the cam and this shaft is known as cam shaft okay so this cam shaft is also there so both are the part only but this cam shaft it is used to open the uh, inlet and outlet valve okay so that inlet and outlet valve which is present in the engine to uh, like this is example just just example where, where this cam shaft is used this is a very general example you can see that so this cam shaft uh, like 
it has some structure uh, like a structure like i'm bad at drawing so this, it has a structure like this and then uh, here this is a, where uh, the shaft is passed uh, shaft passed from here so once it rotate so at a at a point like i'm sorry i'm sorry like we will we will make it more flatter okay so it look like this so once it move up, upward it can it will be able to close this wall it, it, it may be touching this wall with covering more area and when it, in this position it is covering less area so it, the wall get open so this this kind of like the rotation in this shaft ca causes the opening and closing of the walls okay and then uh, this cam shaft is a, is used for like it it work like this so it is used for converting the rot uh, liter, uh, linear motion into the ro rotary motion okay so i hope this answer is clear to him maybe he is not in the class uh, but if, if 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 there is any confusion to you go, uh, you guys also so it it get clear now okay so yeah so that's all for like there's only one question which is relevant now uh, two questions were there one was like continuous and uh, uh, product type uh, product type layout which uh, i have discussed so vikas uh, you can unmute yourself and ask your question now Vikas, Vikas Kumar. Hello. Uh, yes, Vikas. Hello. Good afternoon, sir. Hmm, good afternoon. Sir, I want to ask the. I, I have confusion in a product layout and continuous layout because in a product okay. layout, uh, I have learned that uh, there is a continuous production. The production, the production, in it never stop, and yeah. uh, a single machine if it stop the stop the whole production line. Then yes, how yes, yes. continuous production is uh, different from product layout. Uh, so what what i uh, just discussed it if that production line that continuous production line that you are talking about if that production line is meant for a specific product okay so if it is uh, building only a specific product then that is a product layout it is going to build that product only but if that pro that uh, continuous production line that you are using that production line you, you are using generally if it is converting raw material into different product okay different types of product not like suppose you are building uh, uh, there's a uh, there's a what you can say uh, suppose nut only okay so if a production line which is building uh, which is manufacturing a nut okay so if it is manufacturing a nut with uh, uh, that like uh, m8 maybe specification okay so if it is building only that m8 so it is called a product uh, uh, product layout and if it is building that nut of m8 m16 or maybe other ln type nut okay so that will be called the that will be simply called as a uh, continuous production line right okay and next question uh, next was the, that you have requested to so the half gantry uh, half gantry Crane, okay, so I'm just searching it. Maybe half entry can is now it is there. I got the photo. Okay, let me search in.
so i hope now it is visible on the screen so this is the this is an example of this uh, half uh, gantry uh, crane okay so one part is uh, one part is on the uh, rail okay which is here and another is mounted on the uh, wall of it so this is how uh, half gantry is look like in our granite factory okay it is there nice okay so is there any other question anyone want to ask any confusion related to this course i will be happy to answer anyone if there is any question anyone want to ask please feel free to ask me so those who joined late not that to call but i have a question okay you can ask <laughs> maybe i will be able to answer or not so those who joined late till vikas is typing this question so uh, this is just to just for information that uh, the last date for this registration is very uh, the registration for the examination is very near so you must have getting emails and text messages so you go and please re, uh, register for the examination of this course so that you can get a certificate of completion uh, after giving that examination exam pattern uh, uh, is like you will be having uh, you have to uh, answer 50 question 50 questions are of mcq type multiple choice questions will be there and then there is no negative marking so easiest pattern of uh, examination is there so you just go and register for the uh, examination of this course and uh, so that you can get the certificate also says so vikas you can uh, ask the question we are open if anyone else Hello. having any question yes vikas yeah you can say sir first i want to ask you a question that there is a many course uh, the many course mm. in nptel for mechanical engineer so i don't mm -hmm. understand what course and which course is suitable for me to enhance my knowledge and uh, uh, the whole purpose is uh, doing a course is to get a job a better job okay because you yeah, so know very well the what is the scenario of uh, the unemployability mm -hmm, you, mm -hmm. it is very hard to get a job in a better companies in good company mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i am rudki you know very well iit rudki mm -hmm. but uh, so you are you are student of I, iit rudki no 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 sir no 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 i uh -huh. i am doing my graduation from a very tier 3 class of engineering college uh -huh. and uh, there is a very hard to get a campus placement also mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. college so, so please guide us okay so there are there are two kinds uh, two uh, way what what i uh, why what i think is so one is like if you are in your graduation so you you must have uh, taken your particular like this mechanical engineering uh, by thinking like your future what in which direction you want to go okay so almost all mechanical engineers or some uh, those who took or those who take mechanical engineering as a uh, what you can say as a major for their graduation so they used to think about the government jobs okay so jobs like uh, jobs in railway or psus okay so maybe you have thought about that so for that you have to clear gate examination okay and that too with good uh, gate score so that gate score is not uh, like uh, cracking gate doesn't me uh, doesn't depend upon from which college you belong okay so it is all about 100 marks paper and uh, uh, examination which is having 100 marks uh, paper and that uh, that is from mechanical engineering if you are from mechanical engineering if you are opt opting for that so it, it is from mechanical engineering and the mechanical engineering which is taught to you similar courses are taught to uh, 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 to the students who are in iit the difference is only the uh, what you can say environment you can say okay 
so the environment and the uh, exposure to the world to the industries or to uh, to the course it is a difference and the and then the quality of the professor uh, that how they are uh, teaching and the uh, availability of the resources okay so if you have thought about going towards this government job or something like that similar to that so in psus so you have to uh, you have to study you have to focus on the courses which are in the gate syllabus okay so gate syllabus you can get from the gate website gate all there's there's a website so those the syllabus is there already and then gate courses are started for from uh, this uh, on nptel portal also okay so you can opt those courses and you can uh, do it and you can more and more study and get the knowledge about all the uh, the uh, this the, the courses that are in syllabus of that gate okay so through gate you, you can get uh, if you if you will be able to crack gate you can easily get uh, psus okay so but the gate score required is very high right so if for general candidates uh, maybe gate score of more than 80 plus is required so in an 100 uh, marks examination you, you have to score 80 plus if not if you just qualified for gate uh, you can opt for uh, further studies maybe masters in some of the iits and its okay uh, you can change your like you are saying that you are in tier 3 uh, uh, college so you can change uh, you can further uh, uh, pursue your further education in some top level institute and from there you can get placements or uh, other uh, thing okay now second thing second uh, way to get the job is like you you can go for uh, this if you are not getting the campus placement you can go for open uh, uh, placement uh, off campus placement what you can say uh, but for that you need to learn about the uh, for a mechanical engineering i'm just saying uh, it is not for other background because i am a mechanical engineer uh, from mechanical engineering background only so i just suggest it I, i'm not guaranteeing you that you will get the job but yeah Uh, right now the trend in the industry is like if you uh, are good in any of three three component okay the first component is drafting so drafting tool that may be catia uh, solid works uh, on shape uh, this 360 uh, what you can say uh, all these th these drafting software are there uh, ptc creo okay so if you you have to get the uh, expertise in any of this this one yeah fusion 360 yes so you have to get the expertise in uh, any of this drafting software so if you get uh, you have expertise in drafting software so you can uh, apply for the relevant uh, industry and they will hire you second is the programming side so uh, being a mechanical engineer uh, and doing programming it is not a uh, what you can say it is not a um, you 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 you, uh, you cannot deny this ki you you cannot do the coding Uh, you are from mechanical engineering because mechanical engineering involves lots of coding now okay so you if you have any uh, if you have any expertise in any of the coding language maybe c c++ or uh, open source programming like java fortran okay so you can get uh, the knowledge of that you can gain knowledge of that while you are in graduation only uh, so you can you will be able uh, easily get you will able easily get a job in any of the uh, fact, any of the industry which is uh hiring uh, uh this mechanical engineers for like different different industries are hiring for this and then i want to work in yeah in mechanical engineering field only i am saying like suppose uh in mechanical engineering field if you want to go to some uh, some some mechanical engineering field what you can say uh, you want to join tata okay tata motors right so in tata motors there are there are lots of jobs okay so for a mechanical engineer there is a job of cfd like computational fluid dynamics there is a course you may must have studied fluid dynamics course okay so yes i want to yeah i want to join tata motor so this kind of this this company i'm not i'm not just telling that ki wahan pe kaise job like how you will get the job there but yeah you can uh, you must have the expertise in any of this field okay so this computational fluid dynamics required coding and that is done by any a mechanical engineer only not a cs people the cs people do some other other coding but for the the thing that involved like simulation of your own formulas your own concepts okay so you have to code it so this 
if you you can learn coding that will be very helpful for you okay and the coding is learning coding is not is not as difficult as learning the uh, courses of mechanical engineering right so by that also you will just get the job in only this mechanical uh, engineering field only okay although you are doing the code uh, this work of this coding on your system but that in the mechanical engineering uh, what you can say background okay and third part is the simulation part okay so you must have heard about ansys abacus this kind of softwares so if you have uh, and you have studied the course of like finite element analysis so if finite element if you have this expertise in this finite element analysis and this courses so then you will be able to show your candidature for this private industries and jobs uh, you and get the job okay so these three uh, these are the uh, what you can say these are the options that are open for a graduate uh, a student who is doing uh, pursuing graduation from any of the institution okay so yeah another thing if you are preparing for gate you 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 will just able to uh, answer or you just you will just try to um, uh, try to compete in the examinations which are uh which are held by this isro bar okay these these kind of um, uh, bodies also organize their own examination okay and then your state government also organize examination for uh, junior engineering post okay or senior engineering post senior engineer post okay in railway also so yeah you can you can do the courses accordingly now someone is saying i am interested to study abroad what courses do i need to take from our field okay so if you want to study abroad so first of all uh, you have to opt for like good courses uh, uh, which are in trend okay so the courses uh, may be uh, like uh, again i am saying ki uh, the courses must be of diverse field okay so in mechanical engineering uh courses from design background courses from manufacturing background and courses from thermal background so you have to opt for your choice like first of all you have to get your uh, what you can say your own uh interest in which field you want to go you want to go in design field so you have to take the courses on vibration theory of machine solid mechanics okay advance the advanced courses of that if you want to go in the field of thermodynamics like thermal field so you have to uh, uh, study the courses related to thermodynamics applied thermodynamics okay fluids and all and if you are going for we can uh, this manufacturing field so you have to study the courses related to manufacturing okay so according as per your interest you have to choose the courses and then you have to uh, you also have to apply for this english proficiency courses uh, english proficiency examinations so after that there's a process so if you are if you are interested in that uh, studying abroad you must have seen or uh, what are the procedure for that vikas kumar i want to work in automobile sector production especially okay <clears throat> so vikas uh, you will you will get the answer uh, you will get the job in um, automobiles uh, this production sector so just uh, try to do like try to enhance your skills uh, like based on like three things that i have said uh, the things are like uh, designing uh, analysis part and coding part so if you have knowledge of this three you will uh, definitely get the job in uh, automobile sector right so on the production uh, line if you want to get the job so uh, managerial skill they used to see sometime okay so you have to uh, you, are, you also have to do the uh, course or related to industrial engineering okay so that will be helpful for you uh, if you want to work in that field right okay thank you so if anyone anyone else want to ask any question good evening sir yeah good evening uh, sir myself abhishek yes sir abhishek i have completed my 3 years diploma from plastic engineering 
okay cpec mm-hmm. and yeah. sir right now i am working as a production engineer mm-hmm. and since 5 years because i got a compass from that mm-hmm. in 2016 Mm-hmm. Right now, sir, I am working as an automation engineer and developing the machinery tools as well as SPM. Mm-hmm. So then, sir, please guide me what to do for the next because my interest is in the automation of developing the uh, CNC based technology machines. Mm-hmm. And I have a uh, knowledge of that, but my education, educational experience, and institutional experience was from the plastic background. Oh, okay, okay. So, so then, sir, what to do? This guide, guide is something. Okay, so like, um, uh, just like, uh, if your experience of five years, as you said, and then uh, your background is not uh, this core mechanical, you're from plastic engineering. So there's no issue right now. Uh, once you get experience in the field and you want to do something new, so uh, they used to see your uh, what you can say skill set. Okay, not the degree what you have. so if you want to develop some uh, like uh, this some machine which is xcnc based machine um, autom- autom- uh, in the like aut- aut- you, are, you want to work in the field of automation in manufacturing domain especially so you just uh, 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 you, you, you can just for for formality uh, what you can say you have already skill set for showing them in the interview that you have done uh, what from where you get this uh, skill set you can do some courses which are related to this okay and then again the uh, uh, yes. sir whenever i allied to as a unit in charge in the injection molding because injection molding is a belong to the plastic industry hmm hmm and uh, because of my institutional experience hmm hmm but uh, uh, whenever i applied through the resume that i did not shortlisted for that uh, mm-hmm. and then i asked for in why because i asked through the consult i had consultancy and then mm-hmm. i i asked to why should i don't shortlisted Mm-hmm. Then so they guide me. You have a two types of experience. Okay. Ah, uh, because your institutional experience was in the production and manufacturing unit, mm-hmm. and uh, right now you are working as an automation engineer and the uh, machine developer. Hmm. So, so actually, uh, actually, yeah, you have to like find a suitable place. Actually, they are the people who are there. They are they don't uh, giving value to your your experience and your knowledge, right? So, yes, sir. because you have a diverse knowledge of this uh, automation also, and then production as a project production engineer, you are uh, you have also what? So, uh, the, you the people uh, having this kind of uh, what kind of diverse experience and things, they must get some better jobs. Okay, they must get shortlisted. But if the people uh, who are uh, where you are not, you are applying and you are not getting shortlisted, they are unlucky that they are not hiring you. They are they are not getting uh, what? Right. So Vishak, you just don't lose your hope. I said, and uh, you just try to uh, applying, okay, at different places. Uh, so that's because I joined the NPTEL to uh, to change my field documentation yeah. really. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. So what? What? Uh, before that, uh, I, I I was saying same thing. Let like that for these these uh, documentation and this uh, for mentioning in the resume. You just uh, try to do the courses uh, related to your like your uh, uh, interest. Right now, okay. So automation in manufacturing. If you are if you are interested, so you can do the courses related to that. Like you are doing this course uh, and some few other courses were maybe there. You can search for that and you can do the courses uh, there. Okay. So that will uh, certainly add points in your resume and then uh, based on your experience, you will definitely crack the interview and get a decent job. Right. Sir, I have a confidence. If uh, if I shortlist for the interview, I definitely yeah, get. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, sure, I, sure. I did not shortlist it. In fact. <laughs> i am trying from a one year ago ah, no, no like success doesn't come in a day right abhishek so i just say don't lose your hope and keep trying okay so one day definitely you will you will remember these words and then you will say ki, yeah uh, that you will get a better job okay better must more better job from like the from the places where you are getting rejected now you will get more better job and you will get uh, achieve more uh, uh, what you can say good position than the people who are rejecting you right So this happens to everyone. Nothing. Uh, there's nothing like a struggle. Is a, ta- a struggle is a thing that we always used to experience, and from our experience, uh, we used to gain uh, things and uh, uh, gain uh, confidence, and from that confidence, we used to crack uh, a bigger thing. Okay. Right now, you are targeting for some smaller thing that maybe at a, a time will came you will uh, jump high more uh, 
like to a more height okay so i just say ki yeah keep trying and just do some courses uh, to add uh, or to strong your cv uh, your resume okay yes sir the domain thank you sir uh, i'm open for the best sir and uh, thank yeah, you for the best abhishek yes, all the best yeah. so thanks a lot sir hmm. Oh, Nagraja, what about Alsan? So assignment marks is there on the portal only, uh, Nagra, Nagraja. Yeah, there is. It is there in the. Uh, if you log, uh, you can log in on your own NPTEL SOEM portal. So you will see assignment marks there. It is there uh, for I think seven, week seven till week seven they have given the assignment marks. If you have done that assignment, so you will see the marks there. okay so we are running out of time uh, i just say thank you to all, thank you to all for joining this session and we'll meet again next week uh, same time same with same link okay thank you uh, till then uh, you can uh, enjoy the learning of this course happy learning and if you have any query you can contact me by visiting on this scanning this qr and visiting on the my web page and uh, thank you very much so Goodbye take care I'm closing this meeting